Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most recognizable fighter bomber aircraft in the world, the Su-24, also known by its NATO reporting name the Fencer. This jet, designed and built in the Soviet Union, has played a major role in air combat history, and it is still flying today in many countries. In this video we are going to dive deep into the story of the Su-24, its design, performance, weapons, operations, and of course we will also discuss the US dollar price so you get a clear picture of how much this aircraft is worth in today's terms. So, stay tuned because we are going to explore everything about the Su-24 Fencer in detail, and by the end you will know why this jet is considered a true symbol of Soviet-era engineering and how it has continued to remain relevant even in the modern battlefield. The Su-24 Fencer was developed in the 1960s when the Soviet Union realized that they needed a modern tactical strike aircraft capable of low-level penetration, long range, and the ability to deliver precision strikes under all weather conditions, day and night. The West at that time had aircraft like the American F-111 Aardvark, and the Soviets wanted a counterpart that could do the same job for their air force. The result was the Su-24, which took its first flight in 1967 and entered service in the early 1970s. It became the first Soviet aircraft to be equipped with a side-by-side -side seating arrangement for the crew and a terrain-following radar, giving it the ability to fly low and fast, hugging the Earth's surface while avoiding detection. When we look at the Su-24, the first thing that catches attention is its variable sweep wing design. This feature allows the wings to be swept back at high speeds for better aerodynamic performance and then extended at lower speeds to improve lift during takeoff and landing. The design philosophy behind this was simple, provide flexibility. At low altitude, the aircraft needed stability, but at high altitude and high speed, it required reduced drag. This design gave the Su-24 excellent performance across a wide range of flight regimes. Talking about engines, the Su-24 is powered by two Saturn AL-21F3A turbojet engines, each producing around 24,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner. With these engines, the Su-24 can reach speeds of up to Mach 1.6 at high altitude and around Mach 1.1 at low level. Its combat radius is around 615 miles when carrying a typical payload, and the maximum range is more than 2,500 kilometers with external fuel tanks. These numbers allow the Su-24 to strike deep into enemy territory and return safely, something the Soviet Union wanted in case of conflict with NATO. The cockpit of the Su-24 is another interesting part of this jet. The two crew members sit side by side, the pilot on the left and the navigator weapons officer on the right. This layout was inspired by the American F-111, but the Soviets improved it in their own way. The cockpit is armored to protect the crew from ground fire, and the aircraft has an ejection system that allows both crew members to escape in emergencies. The avionics of the early models were basic compared to today, but still advanced for their time. Later upgrades included modern radar, electronic countermeasure pods, GPS navigation, and night vision capabilities. Now let's move to the weapons of the Su-24. This aircraft was designed as a tactical bomber, so its main strength lies in its ability to carry a wide variety of bombs, missiles, and rockets. It has eight hardpoints and can carry up to 8,000 kilograms of ordnance. This includes unguided bombs, cluster bombs, air-to-ground missiles, anti-ship missiles, and even nuclear weapons if required. Some of the common weapons used by the Su-24 include the KH-23 and KH-25 air-to-surface missiles, KH-29 large guided missiles, KH-58 anti-radiation missiles, and the KH-31 supersonic missile. It can also use laser-guided bombs and TV-guided bombs for precision strikes. For air-to-air -air defense, the Su-24 carries short-range R-60 or R-73 missiles, though air combat is not its main role. In addition, it has a built-in GSH-62323 mm rotary cannon with 500 rounds of ammunition for close in defense or ground attack. The Su-24 has been used in many conflicts around the world. During the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in the 1980s, the Su-24 carried out bombing raids against Mujahideen targets in the mountains. Later, it saw action in Chechnya, Georgia, Syria.